Hey everybody, how's it going? Danny Soleil here, AKA Travel Man Dan, AKA Reading Man Dan, and welcome to day four of my 75 hard journey. That's right, I'm doing the 75 hard challenge. <laughs> Woo, man, wow, it ain't easy. And I'm gonna get into that, but uh, I just wanted to say thanks for stopping by. Uh, hopefully you're entertained in this video or really most importantly, I hope that I can go ahead and inspire at least one single person to go ahead and try it, to, to follow along. Maybe they can use these videos of my journey and look back and say, oh, he's going through the same stuff. And uh, well, they can go ahead and compare and get motivated and continue to go, right? So here I am, I'm in day four and you know, I'm smelling myself a little bit, but I'm also, uh, I'm exhausted. I'm really so tired. Um, if you don't know, if you just hopped on or if you watched it from the middle, I just had knee construction, reconstruction. So I'm on crutches. Uh, for at least another uh, eight days. I, I'm going to the back to the doctor on the 14th, which will be a month and a half, and then I can slowly start walking. So it's gonna be great for the outdoor workouts because I can go ahead and get my weights in in the morning on a machine, safe, you know, uh, you know, under guidance of, uh, you know, safety. And then in the afternoon after work, I can go ahead and uh, take a walk for about 45 minutes. But uh, that, that you guys, Heard it in the middle, we do have to work and that sucks. <laughs> it really is just draining me, you know? Um, but, uh, you know, staying strong, eating really clean, which is, uh, you know, the, the thing is, is, if you've ever watched any of my Food Friday videos, you know that I don't necessarily eat clean. But uh, I always wanted to try it, so I'm really headstrong on it. I'm eating super clean, uh, you know, just getting in there um, and doing all the things I have to do to follow my diet, which is part of this challenge. Um, doing the water, water is actually becoming easier. Um, getting it done usually before six o'clock. And, uh, you know, but today we're gonna talk about one of the tasks because each day I'm gonna break down the task. Some days I'm just gonna tell you how I'm feeling and I'm out. Some days are gonna be longer, some days are gonna be shorter. Um, you know, well, you know, I got the gift of gab and <laughs> like to ramble, but uh, today I want to talk about a certain task, and that task is reading 10 pages of non fiction every single day. <laughs> yeah, I know for some of you guys, you're like, oh my gosh, reading, you know, and, and some of you are like, yeah, no problem, that's going to be the easiest part. Um, but I think you'll find difficulties and challenges no matter what side of the um, spectrum you're on. Uh, because whether you're starting a book for the very first time and you're, you don't read that much, uh, you know, obviously it can feel mundane, slow. You forget things as you're reading. You gotta, you know, go back and reread. Uh, it's, it's a muscle, right? Your brain is a muscle and it's gotta go ahead and get trained. Think of it like that. And those of you that are, you know, avid readers like myself, you know, you think you read so much every day and then you try to squeeze it in and you always feel like you're running out of time. So that might be your challenge. But nonetheless, that is the task is to read 10 pages of nonfiction. So, um, you know, <laughs> Andy Priscilla says this is not your Harry Potter read. That's right. It, it sucks. That's a bummer because I love to read and I read a lot of plays and a lot of, a lot of like classic literature. But um, in nonfiction. Some categories would be like self-development, uh, business, maybe something about the health or spirituality. Um, I read a lot of motivational stuff. I read a lot of stuff that, you know, especially because I'm doing this, a lot of stuff that follows along the lines of um, the secret and uh, the law of attraction. I really love that stuff. So um, I definitely read a lot of that and try to tune my brainwave into that um, way of thinking. But, um, yeah, that's the that's today's uh, task. I mean, it's every day's task, but that's today's video basically talking about it. Now, here's a couple of things. 10 pages does not mean audiobooks, okay? He's very clear about this. I was talking to this to my friend. He started calling me the 75 hired police. I love you, Paisan. But, you know, I, I'm holding everyone to it. If they're going to say they're doing it, I, I'm doing it. So uh, you are too, I guess. Uh, and it doesn't count for audiobooks. And if you listen to the podcast, episode 14, The Real as uh, Real as AF, Andy with Andy Frisilla, he talks about, you know, the thing about this is it's not a workout program. It's, it's a mental discipline uh, program that will train you to do the things that are uncomfortable to you, the small little mundane things each and every day. I think that's a really important point because, you know, people 
that's the first thing they say is I'll just listen to an audio book and uh, you know I'll, I'll squeeze it in on my ride to work but it doesn't count doesn't count you gotta start all over again and the reason you have to read 10 pages is because for the very simple fact that people try to condition the things that are you know inconvenient or harder in life to kind of modify them and change them so that they're easier in their life and that that's why this thing is so difficult that's why it's 75 hard because you have to program yourself to sit down and read a book not listen okay it's not comic books it's not like large print it's a good old-fashioned regular book you know what I'm talking about you can use a, a Kindle um, but I'm a little suspect to the Kindle because if your prints really big the pages do go fast so I would say even get up there if you're reading a Kindle maybe uh, 12 to 14 pages one of the things that Andy Frasilla talks about is take notes, be attentive. You know, um, when you're sitting down and you're reading, don't just kind of hum through it, pick up Instagram, see what people are doing, you know, look at some food videos, this, that, and the other thing. Sit down, take notes, especially if you're learning something, if you're developing and you're training your mind this way, put a little scratch paper next to you and, and write down a couple of key ideas. I like to, you know, circle things, highlight, maybe write notes in the margin. However you like to do it, really, that, that is the type of reading that you will get the most out of. And I know some of you guys are slower readers. That's fine. Who isn't? All right? I mean, I mean, there's a lot of people that are slow readers as opposed to fast readers. But, um, yeah, that is critical task number four. There's a couple of things. Um, basically, if you, if you go ahead and you listen to the podcast, it's real great. But um, that, one, that now that's going to segue me into my book, my first book that I'm reading. I really wanted to wrap my head around the 75 hard and why am I doing it and, and, the, and the technical things of it and the creator and this, that. Um, so I went ahead and started my first book off with, uh, you know, that 75 hard book. Uh, you can order it. It was like 20 bucks. The shitty part is there's no way around the shipping and handling. I think it's another 10 bucks. So it's kind of an expensive book. It's $30, but I rationed it off with, you know, I've been sitting on the couch, I haven't been spending much money lately, and I uh, figured, you know what, if I really want to do this, if I invest the 30 bucks and get the book, I'll definitely read it, take the knowledge from it. So um, it's it's a little bit of an investment. I do know, I don't know if you can buy an ebook, but here it is. This is what uh, they offer with the program. You you can you don't have to have this. You can listen to the podcast and get everything um, out of the book from the podcast. Um, but it's nice to double up. Um, I read because you can see the pages they're pretty light right so you could constitute each page as 10 but they're um, they're pretty light there's a big space in there so I'm reading uh, 15 to one night 30 30 when I first opened it up I was really blowing through it I'm actually almost done with it I read already in four days a hundred and a hundred thirty six pages so um, however you want but you do have to read 10 pages this is the book that I'm reading 75 hard I really want to understand the program understand what I'm going through uh, what other people are going through why was it written so you know maybe you want to start there too I think that's a good uh, a good book to start with it's an easy read and if you're getting into this and you're about to do it and you're serious about do it about doing it it's really nice to, to grab all the information from this after listening to the podcast because when I first heard about it, I, I got the podcast and I, and I listened to it and I was like, oh yeah, there's a book too. And then I signed up and I got ready and I was like, you know what, this is going to be my first book. So I'm almost done with that, but really you cannot stray from 10 pages, okay? Nine and a half dozen counts, right? You can't, you just, you know, quit. You have to read something, uh, 10 pages that's nonfiction every single day. And, um, you know, you're going to start to see, I don't know the benefits of it yet. I read a lot, but, but probably not every day. When I read, a lot of it is kids' books, uh, reading Man Dan stuff, uh, comic books, plays, things like that. So nonfiction, when you read this stuff, really, I can't say enough, like start taking notes. I don't know the capacity it's gonna take on me. I'm looking for a cool little change and you know get serious discipline. Like they say, it's gonna change your life, but I just don't know yet. I, I, I don't know that feeling. I'm looking forward to, uh, to gaining all the knowledge, not only from this book, but all the other books I have lined up. And I'll keep you updated throughout the next 75 days of what I'm reading, what I found. So it's just a brief introduction, day four, um, you know, staying strong and doing the thing. I'll be back tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Soleil, 
aka Travel Man Dan, Reading Man Dan. And remember, it's a big world out there. Make sure you see every bit of it.